taught to breathe in correlation with the arms so you turn your head to breathe when one of the hand is had just entered and then you should have finished the breath by that time that same hand has finished the hold. now some of the fastest guys in the world are actually breathing quicker than that um, and it's kind of hard to do because it messes with the strokes fluidity um, but with that it, it makes you faster okay you get a little less breath but you can speed up the tempo which then gives you a higher speed so Nathan's breath looks the same at the very beginning. He breathes at a hand entry. So whatever hand enters, he turns to breathe. But that same hand, he decides to complete the breath sooner. So that way the head is dropped down by that same arm is at its catch position. The reason he does this is with the head and eyeballs being straight down, it actually makes his pulse stronger compared to the originally taught breathing cycle. How this works is you're going to take whatever hand you're going to breathe into. So enter with my right, breathe over to my left, okay? just as you would normally. And as you pull, you're going to be pulling down and you're going to drop the head down before you get halfway through the pull. Okay? So it's just going to be like this short, minute breath and you're going to be like, did I get any air in that? 